What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here bringing you your Sunday box office report. Happy Mother's Day, too, by the way, to all the mothers out there. I'm sure there's not a lot of mothers that actually watch my videos. But just in case you are, happy Mother's Day. You truly are awesome. I brought my mom uh, a dessert from Dairy Queen, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, a little low-key, but, you know, she loved it. And, uh, of course, how can you not? You can't say no to a Reese's Blizzard with chocolate ice cream. Anyways, guys, if you're new to the Sunday box office, I'll give you the top five domestic earnings. See what happened this weekend, so let's check it out. All right, coming in number five in its fourth week. Still running pretty strong, sadly. Um, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Two. And it made $5.2 million for the weekend, bringing that grand total up to $58 million. Its budget was 30, so you know what that means. They're probably going to do a third one. <laughs> Yay! Oh boy. Anyways, uh, number four, still running very strong, actually, at the end, in its sixth week. Furious 7, and it made $5.3 million over this weekend, bringing that grand total up to $338.4 million. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. They did release the uh, the date for the, the eighth one. I still don't think they should just because there's no Paul Walker. It's going to be very interesting, but we'll see what happens. Coming in at number three in its third week, The Age of Adeline, and it made $5.6 million over the weekend, and that grand total has been lifted up to $31.5 million. And coming in at number two, the only real new one this this weekend, Hot Pursuit, which got terrible reviews, which I, of course it did. <laughs> it made $13.3 million over the weekend, uh, and that's pretty much it. Didn't really do that well. It had a budget of $35 million, which half of that probably went to makeup and hair for uh, Sofia Vergara. <laughs> I'm not hating. She's beautiful. When she opens that mouth... Dear Lord, rip my ears off. And then, of course, coming in at number one, still running super, super strong, Avengers Age of Ultron. And it made $77.2 million over this weekend, bringing that domestic total up to $312.6 million. And if that wasn't enough, it's already almost made a billion dollars worldwide. 800, let's see, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, man, I had it right here. $875.3 million worldwide. So, of course, sometime this week, it'll pass the billion dollar mark. Holy Lord, that's crazy. It's great to hear that, though, because it's great. It satisfied our nerd, our nerd boners, right? Anyways, guys, let me know if you saw something over the weekend, what you thought about it down below in the balls area. You see, did you see Hot Pursuit, Sally, or did you... Did you uh, watch Avengers Age of Ultron again? I wanted to see it again, that's for sure. But let me know down below. And also hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Visit FilmJunkie.com for all my videos. And follow me on the Twitters, the Facebooks, and the Google Pluses. All right, guys. Talk to you later.